So imagine if like people played like a video game and then they they like recorded it while they were playing and then they saved it onto their computer and then they talked about like they talked about what what they played and like how they played the game and then they posted it for like like on the internet and the interwebs for other people to see and then those other people like watched it like a lot of people and then like everybody was happy and enjoyed it uh... that would be crazy that would be crazy uh... yo my name is sage twenty five um... i like to use the snipper biffle also known as the sniper rifle also known as the intervention also known as the thing that shoots people in the face and they die uh, which I'll be using this game. Uh, I'm using my standard setup for uh, for my sniper class, which is the intervention with FMJ. Uh, and then my secondaries this game are the magnums. I switch out secondaries every once in a while. And uh, my throwing knife, my handy dandy throwing knife in my pocket, because I'm like a butcher or something. Even though they don't really throw knives, they just like chop meat up with large cleavers and stuff um, but whatever and uh, stun grenades are always good and then of course you need you need a sleight of hand pro if you're gonna be a quick scoper like that um, and stand in people's doorways like that um, and uh, and stopping power is always good to make sure you get that one shot kill you know what, I've been getting a lot of hit markers lately. Uh, and Steady Aim Pro is what I'm using this game. Um, man, okay, here's my deal. I haven't posted too many uh, too many sniper games, even though I, I like to snipe a lot. I've been, I've been getting so frustrated. Like, I might start off... Well, one thing is because uh, I haven't been using my normal kill streaks like I do this game. Um mainly because the last kill streaks that I have to complete <coughs> like for the prestige challenges right are s the sentry gun the attack helicopter and the stealth bomber and so I've been using like weird gimmicky stuff instead of just uh, using stuff to get a lot of kills um, second reason is because I've been trying to be too fancy instead of like this game is just a solid game where I hold the I kind of patrol the right side of the map and watch the left side and stuff and get on top of their base. And uh my team is pretty smart. They don't like they they get in the base a little bit and they start to cap C, but we never really cap it. Um so I'm able to do some work. Um I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, y yeah, and uh and I don't know. I've been getting like a lot of hit markers. Or I'll start off with like a really good game, and then I'll just I'll just start getting like hitting painkillers, and I hit some painkillers in this game a couple times, but I'll end up getting the kill. It's still just really annoying. Or I'll get commandoed all day, or noob tubed all day. Like I, I don't know. This game just has a lot of gimmicky stuff, you know. Like, but whatever. You got to deal with it. Um. You know, I have to deal with their new tu noob tubes and commando, and they have to deal with my insane sniping. I guess it evens out. Um, anyway, uh, I pretty much run the right side for a majority of the game. Uh, right here I get on top of their spawn because I realize uh, it's getting kind of boring. And uh, they're not really coming out. And here's the, here's the painkiller part, by the way. In the chest, in the chest, and uh, finally in the chest and then in the chest and then of course um, the last one would be in the chest um, I hit another painkiller later in this game which is even even worse I don't know it's r like whatever I'll get to that when when you see the next one it's kinda dumb um, otherwise I get some pretty some pretty good quick scopes in this game like I've said before some games I'm on some games I'm off and it's gonna be the same for you guys um, my biggest thing on quick scoping is just keep at it because uh, um you know I truly only have a good game of quick scopes like maybe one out of every 10 games that I snipe and uh 
I don't know. There's just things that can definitely frustrate you, and uh, I'll end up screaming at my TV a lot, and uh, punching pillows, and um, you know, all that fun stuff. But uh, that's just stuff you got to deal with, and you got to stay calm, and it's only going to help you. Um, you know, the more angry you get, the worse you're going to play. Um, which is what I've found. It's like any sport. Uh, it's half mental, or even maybe more mental. I don't know about more mental. The point is, um, you know, just just do what you know that you can do. And if if uh, stupid stuff happens in the game, like painkillers and hit markers and stuff, like you just got to deal with that and know that uh, that uh, it happens once in a while. Uh, this game though. Uh, Turns out to be alright. And uh, I get some kill streaks in the air. Except for here. I don't know where this guy came from. Kind of annoyed me though. Uh, and uh, the other team wasn't very good to be perfectly honest. They kept. I think they kept spawning on that left side. Uh, what side is that? That's like the south over there. Yeah, it's the south. And uh, so I was running the right, the uh, north side I guess. And uh, they were spawning in the south a lot. So I was just um, patrolling the right side. That was a dumb move. I should have. I knew he was in there. I should have either thrown a stun or uh, whipped out my magnums. Um, but sometimes I try to be a little too fancy. Fancy schmancy. Um, but yeah, you see me in this room a lot and on top of their, uh, their AC units a lot and such. And I'll move to the back of their spawn again here. Um, I've talked about this before in Domination. Um, of course, you only want to hold two points, uh, if at all possible. Like, we keep a consistent lead this entire game. From the beginning of the game, we hold two points. And you'll see that we win by an, a good margin. Um, and you'll see we all have good KDs and stuff. And uh, it's just easy to control their spawn. And you'll see I'm in one side of their spawn right now. But I'm pretty se um, secure or whatever I'm pretty sure that they're not gonna spawn right next to me because we don't really have anyone where I'm looking right there you see uh, there's people like in the warehouse but there's not people over here where where one of their main spawns is so I'm I'm pretty certain that they're gonna keep spawning here um, here's the other part I was talking about um, it's coming up in a second here like okay shot in the chest and like clearly in the face clearly in the face like I don't care what kind of meds you're on like I understand it's a painkiller but like I don't know prescribe me some of that cuz that's redonka donk um, like, come on I don't care what kind of meds you're on like you don't take a sniper bullet to the chest and then a sniper bullet to the face um, but whatever that's part of the game um, so now I get a little cocky and I run the middle for a couple kills and then uh, I think I have a, a nice shot coming up right here. And then, oh, here's what I'm talking about. Like, this would be a sick double. Hold on. Um, I think he's, yeah, he's right in front of me in a second. I'm like, bam! And then I'm like, bam! But it's like, it's like right in the center of his chest, and it's a hit marker. And, uh, and I end up getting naded, which is annoying. But, uh, but it's all good, because I had a good score. We had a good game, and, uh, will come out on top which is pretty much what matters uh... anyway oh i lose a no scope battle which is annoying um, the game ends two hundred to one oh four one oh three um, and I, th I end up thirty six and seven um, please rate comment subscribe uh... let me know if you like these sniper videos and uh... if the tips helped and everything and i'll see you guys in my next video peace